I went to go see Monkey Man uh, yesterday. Now, you guys know if you've watched our show regularly, that trailer for Monkey Man came out of nowhere and smacked us all across the face. It is an awesome trailer. And I have been waiting for years for Dev Patel to truly get his spotlight. You know, I, I just, I love this guy. I think he's been great in everything that he's been in. How good was he in The Green Knight? Great. Like, how good was he in The Green Knight, right? So this kind of looked like a John Wick in India. And if that's what it was, I'm good with it. So the action looked incredible. It looked like a great vengeance story. So I went to go see it yesterday, and here's my overall thoughts on it. I didn't love it. I liked it. I think it's a great first directorial effort from Dev Patel, and Dev Patel's performance is stupid good, both from the enraged, wronged man on a fire trail of vengeance, but also in action. The way he pulled off the action was breathtaking and wonderful. There are two main problems with the film, all right, that keep it from keep it just being a movie that I that I liked from being a movie that I loved. Here are the two main problems with it. Number one, as will sometimes happen with a first-time director, the flow of the film feels pretty choppy. Like, it doesn't have a good natural flow. And, you know, Dev Patel tells the story. You guys can tell from the trailers that some of the story is told from when he's a little boy and some is set in modern time. So he's jumping back and forth to tell the story a bit from when he was a little boy to where he is now. And it, and that can work great, but in this case, it didn't really flow very well. So I, I was constantly feeling kind of jarred. It was a little bit jarring as the movie was going on. The second thing was this. When this movie is about a personal vengeance quest. It's awesome. And you know, a lot of people say it's like a John Wick, but my buddy called me this morning who had also seen, he says, you know what? It's not so much like John Wick as it is like um, Kill Bill. Mm. And like, oh, no, no, he's exactly right. This movie really is more like Kill Bill. And by the way, there's a pretty good John Wick reference in the movie too. Um, it's more like Kill Bill. And when the movie is that, fires on all cylinders, it hums along, it's great, it's visceral. The problem is, and they hint at this in the trailers, so I shouldn't have been surprised, but the problem is, it goes beyond just being a personal vengeance story, there's that. But then they have to make it so his personal vengeance story has implications that can save his country. And, you know, so there's more like internal India politics and, and stuff like that. And I found that whenever they were doing that kind of part of the story, it lost momentum. It felt like we are going to take a break from this story that you're really getting into. And we're going to tell a little bit about this part of the story. And on that level, it kind of fell off the tracks a little bit. And then once they got back to personal vengeance, boom, it started flying again. So overall for me, Nice first directorial effort from Dev Patel. His performance is incredible. The action, there's a decent amount of action, not as much as I thought there would be, but a decent amount of action. And when there is action, mind-blowingly good. And the personal vengeance story part of it was great. On the negative side, again, a little jarring and choppy, not a very good narrative flow. And when they got away from the personal vengeance story and tried to do grander scale things, it didn't quite work as well. So overall, it's a movie I like. I recommend people seeing it. It just isn't, I was kind of hoping it'd be one of my top 10 films of the year. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be it for me. But guys, we want to take a moment and thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, is that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless services online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those 
sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Anyway, guys, uh, my question is for you. What do you think about it? I, I liked the film. Uh, did you see it? Did you like it as much as me? Did you like it more than me? Maybe you didn't like the film. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.